uh, today we're gonna have a little chit chat about Voodoo, the festival that is, music and arts festival. Uh, it's in New Orleans, Louisiana, and it is typically at the end of October. And I went this year, 2019. I just kind of wanted to share some pointers I have, some things that might be helpful to fellow festi festival goers. Just to establish some credibility so that maybe you care about my opinion in this, I just thought I would like list some festivals I've been to. I've been to Bonnaroo twice, ACL, Hangout, and now Voodoo. So like, I'm kind of seasoned. I have good things to compare. Um, I also want to say that my preference is a camping festival, which is what, what Bonnaroo is. This is not a camping festival, so it's just kind of a whole different vibe, but it's still awesome, and I'm still going to let you know what you need to know. Alrighty, alrighty. First thing I want to tell you is that tickets were cheapo. Um, typically like Bonnaroo I know, I think all of the big ones. Tickets were like more around $300. Voodoo Fest, we paid $175 each. So, um, we did do early birds, so it was like the cheapest they were. But, even if they were just $200 flat, like that's really not bad. Like It was $175 after all the fees and everything. I want to touch on the location of where you should get your VRBO or Airbnb. The festival is in City Park and probably if you like to engage in nighttime activities, you're gonna wanna go to Bourbon Street. So like I would try and find a place between those two so Ubers are not wicked like, expensive. Furthermore, I'd like to point out that we booked our VRBO in July. So that's approximately four months before the festival and the places that we were looking at a lot of them were taken by July. So like the place we got was not our first pick. I would suggest no later than July booking your VRBO. Otherwise you're gonna be like way far out or you're gonna be cornered into spending upwards of $1 million for your place to stay. And nobody wants that. I don't want that. And I know that you don't want that. Now the festival, talking about the festival, I need you to know it was so, muddy. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> like a foot deep of mud that you're slosh like sloshing through. So definitely you're going to want to either bring or go to Walmart when you get there rain boots or some sort of like water resistant, mud resistant shoe option. Um, we all went to Walmart and picked out some boots. Actually I have a picture. I'll put it in here. These are the types of boots we wore and they were a lifesaver. So you're gonna wanna prepare for some sort of mud gear. And while you're there, getting the rain boots, get a rain poncho because it's wet. It's wet and rainy out there. If you just have in your mind that this is a muddy, wet, messy festival, then you're gonna have a great time. Uh, so because of all the mud that was happening, they put down, they say mulch, but really it was like pine needles to sort of like absorb your steps or like give you some sort of solid ground to step on so you're not just like slipping and sliding in mud but um because of all the mud only one of the two entrances they have into the festival were open saturday and sunday so like that's funneling thousands tens and thousands of people through one entrance so like saturday we waited in line to get in for an hour but once we got to the end of the line or the front of the line I wanted to note that security was very light. Um, typically I like took my fanny pack off and they like, it was one of these. Okay, like didn't really dig around. Granted I did have like a small fanny pack so like I had a backpack full of things, but a quick breeze through and then you walk through a metal detector and you get your stuff back. Um, none of my seven group members got patted down and none of my seven group members got anything taken away from them. We got away with what we wanted to. So since Voodoo is always at the end of October, it's very like Halloween-y. Obviously it's like Voodoo, like creepy, scary Halloween. But there's a lot of like fun Halloween activities to do. Actually inside the festival, there's this place called the Mortuary and it's a haunted house and it's free. You just walk through, me and Brie went through it and uh, we had a lot of fun. That's just like, feels very festive. Also, a lot of people dressed up in like costumes and stuff. Obviously people dress up for festivals in general, but like there's a lot of themed 
costumes, you know, like people like clowns and devils or like in tiger jumpsuits. That was a random sampling of costume ideas. A lot of people dressed up, a lot of people participated in Halloween, but I didn't feel like pressure, you know? Like at ACL, I felt a lot of pressure to be very glammed up. People were very nice, good vibes. People were friendly and accommodating. I felt like I could ask people to take a picture of my group very easily or like you can navigate through a crowd easily. I can't say that for every festival I've been to, honestly, ACL and hangout, people were just like total douchebags. For a non-camping festival, I would highly, highly recommend. I'm going to give Voodoo a juicy, fat and juicy, seven and a half out of 10 stars. And I'm sure about it. I really am, I feel strongly, I'm, I'm positive. A seven and a half, I won't take it back. I really just, I will not take it back but I will tell you what, I might be going back. I'll see you in the next stupid video. Bye. July, August, September, October, November. Why did I just skip October? I don't know. July, October, November. July, August, September, October, jeez.